And of course, we start out with the Wookiee scream. As always, joined by the friendly Wookiee up top over there. This is once again D and D with the group. Um, we have we back, y'all. Yeah, Thomas Manet character there. We have Corvus up there, and Elwin over there. And we're waiting on Sapphiris to come because he's going to be a little delayed. And uh, but do we remember what happened last time? We were attacked by trees Death. because someone thought it would be great to light a fire right next to them. It was a good idea. I don't know what you're talking about. And also, um, so we had a contest going in our Discord, which link in, if you go to my page, you can find the link to the Discord. Wait, there's but, a contest in Discord? But we had a, we had a naming test. We had suggestions like, for naming. Oh, that. Yeah, the naming suggestions and... We ended up kind of mixing the two, meaning that for this series or for this section, we're calling it the Liger, the Tiefling, and the Armoire. Which I thought was a decent suggestion. It was originally between two different ones. It was either the Lion, the Tiefling, and the Armoire, or the Liger in the Closet. And so we went with the Liger, the Tiefling, and the Armoire. As a good kind of mix between the two, even though I don't think D and D has ligers, but I mean ligers can be anywhere. Sure. Is, I mean, there could be one in your closet. Does Casey sound normal to everyone else, or is he just? Yes. Okay. He does to me. Just me. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, my setup's pretty much the same. I know. Making sure that everyone else can hear you and, you know, sound... Right? That would be bad. Yes, that would be very bad. You sound... To me. I mean... Okay. Uh, sorry? Question mark? <laughs> I think that could just be your, your ADD talking at this point. I took my medicine today. Oh, okay. Um... For what? <laughs> what uh oh man it is they are not my devices are not cooperating with me right now oh yeah um but so yeah that fight happened to you when you were starting to make camp right yeah we were making uh, i don't think we even started we like river. rounds and stuff yet yeah it was just the initial oh, we were setup. trying to cook some fish That sounds about right. I don't remember who caught them, but we, we caught some no, fish on the river. left to me. Nope, nope. Not allowed. Yeah, um, so, let's... Who wants to have... I mean, are you going to try to cook the fish or just more go hungry in this state? Or we could just eat them raw. I mean, we just caught them. They're fresh. You know. <laughs> what, you don't like sushi? Does anybody know how to prepare sushi? I don't. No, our, our cook is currently and I don't, off somewhere doing something. I don't feel like doing a survival check to see if I prepare it properly. Yeah, I'm looking at this fish and it's like, however you prepare it, I'd rather have red meat. <laughs> I mean, why, what's wrong with fish meat? Uh, the fact that it's not red meat. I mean, it's fish. It's got that fishy smell. I mean, it's not like we can eat those trees that just beat us up. No, that, yeah, it's true. I mean, I would cast sacred flame to cook the fish, but that's not how that works. <laughs> Would Sacred Flame actually cook a fish? No, it no is it's radiant. a radiant energy, not fire. I can light a fire. Can you hold a fire in your hand and cook the fish on your hand? So oh, you no, I light something? things on fire. See no, we don't, oh, we're not us? lighting anything else on fire here. No, you we see that tree over there trees. that attacked us? Firebolt. Yeah, you lit it on now fire. Now it's on fire. <laughs> now I'm shooting firebolt up the tree. It beat me up. All right, roll, roll the oh. hit. Don't summon more trees. 
We can't take another beating like that. 17. Is, yeah, it is prone, so you have advantage, but yeah. Oh, no, oh. prone at range is disadvantage. Oh, prone at range is disadvantage. Okay, then you have a disadvantage. Alright, well, 17. <laughs> Alright. Second roll is higher. So, yeah, it definitely hits. And, uh, yeah, its wood is now inflamed, and smoke is rising. Great. Cook your fish. I will cautiously cook the fish, being very wary of more trees of popping up out of nowhere. All right, go ahead and roll or, a survival check. Or people. <laughs> survival. Oh, look, I have plus one for that. I got a three. I burnt it. No, at this point, and you the were... meat falls in the fire. No, no, you were so worried about trying to burn it that you undercooked it, so it was only half cooked. That's better than nothing. I mean, is I mean, it though, really? Throw it back on the fire. I feel like Go at raw. this point, I'd rather have a salad. Well, there's plenty of leaves right here from the tree. Go ahead and make one. Tear some bark off and grind it up. Might make some. Uh, Corvus, do you want to try to make a survival check to make a salad? <laughs> no, but I would like to try and uh, do a survival From check to end? make some. Uh, I don't actually know if this is possible, but I want to try and like make like a fish jerky or something. You'd have to smoke it for a long time. Yeah. To be able to do that on low heat. I'm gonna uh, watch. Well, I would say I would say go ahead and roll, roll for a survival check to try to be able to do that. Uh, so that'd be twelve, unless it has to deal with Fey, Fiend, or Undead. Nope, none of those. So, um. I would say about half of the half of the fish that you tried to cause to turn into jerky is able to be turned into jerky, but half of it is does, not, <laughs> does not work out so well. Still tastes better than yours, though. <laughs> I mean, this is you're talking know, about doing this like this throughout the entire watch, right? Because that takes hours. Yes, I'm doing this during my watch. All right. Okay. That. Oh wow, he's gonna be another fifteen minutes. So yeah, that's him uh, committing to first watch. All right, <laughs> I will roll for his first watch. But he always takes last watch. I was gonna say I, mean, no. I always take first. I always take first. So who's on first? What's on second? I don't know. He's on third. All right, nothing happens on his watch. On my watch? Uh, Not on my first. watch. Go ahead and go I second. No, I always go first. I know, but because he's gone right now, we're doing this for fun that he's going first this time. Fine. Then I would go last. Then, okay, you can go last. Who's second? I'll go second. I'll go All second, right. I guess. What time of day is it? Or is it like nighttime? It's or is it like... nighttime. It's nighttime at this point, yeah. Okay. It's not winter, correct? No, it's spring. It's spring. That's what I thought. Tell the snow last week, but it's spring. <laughs> I mean, it'll. Get, it's colder for now, but it'll get warmer again. It's like normal Michigan spring. I, I don't know. Do I need to roll anything? Yeah, go ahead and roll a d20. Tell me what it is. Roll just a normal d20? Yeah. Okie dokie. A 17. Alright, you're good. Nothing happens. Uh, third Andy. watch... So I'm assuming you wake up Corvus? Yeah. Yep. 
I uh, I put a fish on his face. Hey, wake up there, pal. Uh, it even smells fishy. I'm getting flashbacks it, to cardboard duct tape war. It is a yes. Fish. It smell fishy. That was still my favorite weapon I ever made. Uh, uh, so what do you want me to roll? Wait, did you actually make a fish? Yeah, you made a fish weapon. Yeah, you don't remember the giant fish? No, I don't remember. So, the... I had made nunchucks out of cardboard and duct tape. I remember that. But because of my roommate Greg, they banned all flail or flex weapons. Because he made a ridiculous ball of, uh, like pure duct tape, attached to the end of a duct tape chain, that was likely going to injure someone. And so they, in order to avoid that, they just banned all flex weapons. He named that thing. It was named Igor, by the way. <laughs> so, in frustration and annoyance, since most of the weapons I'd already made were flex weapons, they didn't say anything about weapons that began to flex after the fight. So, I rolled up thin pieces of cardboard and layered them, and then duct taped it, so when going into battle, it looked like just a big fish. But it oh was designed that so that the I farther that I, the more I used it, the more it flexed and flopped like a giant fish. And I so it turned that. into the, I was told it's kind of like getting hit by a sail. Because it was the fight with the Roman Legion. So they all had these giant shields. Well, I didn't care about no sacred shields because I would just whack the corner of it and it would wrap around the shield and hit them anyways. <coughs> yep. Yeah, that was. That was when Casey had like the four foot shield. Yeah, it was. They a big all one. did. Yeah. Um, go ahead. You and, still uh, have that? No, I I made all of mine into artifacts and passed it down through Ormston. Oh. Um, I still have my shield. Uh, what'd you roll? It's just a d twenty. I rolled a ten. All right, nothing happens. Time to final watch. All right, is it my turn? Yes. Yep. It's your watch. You took final watch. Eleven. All right. Nothing happens. So you're good. S Does Everyone's... this mean we get a long rest? You do get a long rest. Yes. Yes. I have so many abilities to reset now. It, it had been a little bit, especially with that fight and you deciding to try to rampage through half of the city. Forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, all my spells. Wait, wait, wait what? <laughs> when, when they were doing practical joking stuff throughout all the city. Oh, right, when we did that, yeah. Uh, I think it's well beyond practical joking, more into the realm of terrorism. Fine. He didn't we'll hurt anyone. Okay. Uh, we destroyed a building. Oh. I did con somebody into buying a block of ice. That is also you did, true. Yeah. You did burn down a building. I do. Yeah. We did do that. Or you guys did well, that. Well, I and, guess we did. Me and John just terrorized the building. We just uh, caused an insurance claim. I didn't did they have did they even insurance have back then? <laughs> Probably not. I'm sure they did. Yeah. All right, um, so you are in the forest, and I'm assuming are heading to Beaverton? <coughs> yes. At least this place is named after red meat. You are not eating Mr. and Mrs. Beaver. You sure? They're my friends. I could use something that's not fish. At least fish. Well, we'll probably them. we'll probably find something along the way. Can we just pretend that Zephyrus is like living in his lamp for some reason for during this time? He's communing with his god or whatever. Sure. Okay. But only lasts so long. Uh, it could I thought last he could for just like eight hours. I thought. I was say I thought he could retreat in there for quite some time. No, I thought it was only an hour or something. It, it, he leveled I, up. But maybe longer. Yeah. yeah. It gets longer as he levels up. Alright. So that's the dam. 
Are we just going that way, or are we just skipping stuff? Or well, I mean, do you know which way it is? Yes, I know where. I know how to get to the Beaverton from here. The city. It's a city. Yes, it's a city. Oh, all right. Is oh. it? Uh, you'll see when we get there. Let's go. I ho, I ho. It's off. To work we go. Well, we're right. not working yet. We're just going to Beaverton. So you're traveling for a bit. Um, and, uh... Is there a skill there, for, like, navigation? Is there a river survival. It's survival. survival. Alright, yeah. throw another survival down for me, um, uh, Monet. Would I get advantage because it is my yes. place and I do know it? I'll give you advantage on that one. Fifteen. Yeah, so you relatively know the way. And, you know, after about a couple of hours, you end Was up... Was there a stream nearby? There's a river following the river. Okay. As we're, yeah. we have well, I mean, answers, right? As we're riding there, yeah, um, yeah all of us. On I'm gonna persons. practice making sh like Celtic shapes in the air with streams of water. I should be able to do that, right? With what? What? Yeah. Skill. Shape water. How are you getting the water there in the first place? Are you like using your water? Water. We're traveling by river. In the stream. Oh, That's okay. Yeah. Don't it is, it is a let All anyone right. really see you do that. Just Why? so you know, Elwin. I only recently learned how to do this. What's wrong with practicing? Magic isn't really I've seen widely you known magic. here. I can use magic, but not very many people can use magic here. Let me get this straight. You guys are all vegetarians and you don't practice magic? We are not vegetarians. We eat a lot of different meats. But not beavers, apparently. Do you how eat beaver? How am I supposed to fight anything if I can't use magic? You can use magic, just not inside the cities. Are Unless sure we really have to. Is magic? There is magic. So just, what's, what's going to be wrong if they see me doing this? Because it's things have changed here recently. So the animals can talk, but they can't stand some floating water. The animals are fine, it's the people that are questionable. People? Like humans? Like me? Yes, the humans. Like you. Well, and me Corvus and down over there. Oh, sorry, Corvus. My bad. Okay. okay. Would you like to explain why the people are questionable? Because they were trying to kill all of the creatures. Well, you don't want to kill all of them. How is that going to stop them from trying to attack us? Because when all the creatures were leaving, the magic kind of went with them. There is still magic here, just not a lot. So wait, be. who's the good guys? The animals or the people? The animals. Can you tell that to the, the people aren't bad. who attacked us? That was your fault. You're the one who let the fire down to the trees. How are we supposed to cook the fish? On a fire, not right next to the tree. That tree attacked me. He deserved to be on fire. That, that's that usually how it works. If you're going to make a fire, just make sure it's kind of protected so it doesn't lick at the trees. All right, I do want to point out the comment section. Um, oh, I've missed this. That uh, just tell them that that's bear pee water, and to stop playing with it. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot about. Comments. I mean, <laughs> I don't think L one would care either way because he's not physically touching it. Truth. Oh, that was good. Um, all right. So 
So eventually you start to roll up onto, or to ride up, and you see, um, specifically in Beaverton, you see a couple of centaurs out front. Centaurs? Mm-hmm. Whoa. So I've got a question. It's a half horse, half man. What was your question? Wait, uh, uh... Well, the question is, they're half. They look like half horse, half man. That would mean they've got like half a nice flank state. But would, but if you ate the top half, would that make you a cannibal? Can I ride him? Uh, I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, roll a. Roll an intelligence check for me, Corvus. Can I make a unarmed attack against Corvus? <laughs> uh, yes. uh, so that'll be 22. 22. Okay, so you... Yeah, you think that eating the bottom half would not be cannibalism, but eating the top half would be cannibalism. <laughs> That's such a great question. I, I didn't process it until I heard the answer. <laughs> But can I make an unarmed attack against Corvus? Sure, Roll go ahead. Where is my unarmed attack? B, you strength plus proficiency. Does it nine hit? No. No, it is not. No. <laughs> I take a swing like to like back slap you across the face. What are you doing? Not you, him. Uh, so I will uh, go up centaurs. to the Oh, I thought you were attacking me. I will go oh, over to the centaur and talk really slowly. Hello. So as you as you approach, as you approach, do okay. you understand me? Before you approach, and as you're you're speaking that really slowly, they get their spears out because you look unfamiliar to them. And they're like, who are you? What business do you have here? Would I recognize this, cent this specific centaur or no? Um, Can I have frozen a ball of ice? Of bear pee water? Yes. Um, hold on, let's... The frozen it, yes, I guess if you want to. Alright. Um, I'm, I'm gonna hold up my ball of ice and say, I come bearing gifts. Uh, going back to the if you recognize him. Um, I would say yes. You've been around enough times that I would say that yeah, you do recognize him. Can I have a name for him then? Uh, chat, do you want to name the first centaur? I'm going to throw oh, it gosh, in chat real quick. I thought you we were going to name him Chet. Oh, yeah. I thought you said too. Chet, like, Chet the centaur. No, I'm going to throw it in chat and see what they want to name it as an NPC. Was that the the third <laughs> Santa Claus movie where there was the re yes. reindeer named no, Chet? No, second. Okay. It was second. Was that the second one? Yeah. All okay. right. So, so far, the first name... Well. But he first name first that Chad has second. given has been Bart. So we're going with All Bart right. on that one. So it's the oh, centaur on. Bart. Doesn't happen to rhyme with fart. Yeah, uh, Bart, he's with me. Hmm, Thomas, it's been a while since you've been oh. around. Yeah, I've been busy. Some Just people a... came and needed a Assistance with a project. Just to catch uh, Zephyrus up. I'm assuming he can hear us. Yes, I joined on my phone for the okay. moment. So the three of us are riding horses into Beaver Town, and you are in oh. your lamp because there's not enough horses for you. Yeah, there is. How Everyone has their own horse. How did we? Everyone has a horse now. How did we get our horse? We bought here? another one. I think we didn't buy one. I summoned Philip. Devril, Devril teleported our oh, right. horses. Okay. I summoned Philip. Yeah, Philip's a new horse that is for Manet. Oh, never mind then. Yes, I will ride on Jack, the biggest uh, of all of the horses. 
No, I think Philip's bigger I'm... now. I'm Who's sorry. bigger? Handsome Phillip. Jack might salute better. He's bigger. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a draft horse. Really a war horse. <laughs> Philip was just a riding horse. All the horses actually have names already. Yes. If that's what you're trying to name, Eris. No, part no, is just, just a centaur. But I'm okay with the other. Uh, some of the other names for other centaurs. I will have it be a clan of the arts. Bart, cart, part. Although Chet will be the leader of of cent the centa centaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Chet is the centaur leader. Correct. Just don't, just don't feed him chocolate. Sure. Hard. Okay. Okay. So uh, he's with you. Wait, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, I want to tell you we're really have... updated on what happened. Oh yeah, we were. I have update. homage. I have homage to pay to your horses. I have dark chocolate. Oh, Philip will be fine. Yeah, that, that, yep. <laughs> that's that's it? it. Okay, I got you guys. Well, that's the Anthony Jack is that. the other one. Right. Well, I don't own the game. I can't. I can't boot it and show you. I mean, we're all handsome gentlemen here. So I mean, does that count? And what's what's your new horse's name? Pebbles. Pesky. And Philip do something as opposed to that, and not Phillip. me roleplay it. Wait, Philip does what? Ed was saying, "What's my horse's name?" Oh. He was saying Pebbles or whatever. No, and he... hey, Philip can speak for himself. I remember it start with a P. So yeah, he the, he turns and says, "My name is Philip, and that has been my name since." How the start of it all. How long has he been writing with us and not said a word? He said the word when he got to us, if you remember. No, I don't. He talked. I talked to him when he first I have, got here. I have spoken was when I spoken there? to, but I don't typically start talking when I do not have to. Do you want my gift, Philip? Did you say he's a centaur? Philip, don't don't take his gift. No, the centaur is the guard. Philip is the horse that Monet is riding on. Philip is my. Oh, the one he summoned. Yeah, that's that's Marcus the horse. The yeah, Philip, don't take the water. It's bare pee water. It's uh, just from the stream, you goof. It could be bare pee water. I, I think there I'm going to pass here. on the on the ice this time, but I appreciate your your gift and willingness to do your thing. I give it. What about I you, Mark? A lot of my bag. I give him an apple. Would you like some ice? What need would I have of ice, sir? It's hot out. And it's not who, that. who are you again? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My name Elwin. is Elwin Venture. At your uh -huh. service. And are all of these people with you, Thomas? Unfortunately. Oh, Mr. Moneybags. Yeah, we're with him. Okay. And yeah, they, they you, call me that. Most. What brings you back to this area? Uh, well, we got teleported out for... Uh, oh, let's not talk about magic. An adventure. Things. He's a centaur. Centaurs don't care. Centaurs know about magic. People you have to be a little bit more wary of. What? So I can make my yeah, Celtic... half a person. He's a magical creature. Yeah, he's a uh, he's people horse. I understand People horse. People horse. I will go ahead and use my mage hand to teleport, not teleport, but like have my ball of ice float through the air to Bart. Uh, there you go, free to, Bart. Feel free to break that if you want. Uh, I mean, I appreciate the gift, but if this you was from welcome. the river, this makes me very nervous. You tell me the river's not safe to drink? He looks at it and he sees a bit of yellow frozen inside the middle of the ice. This Just is why we have deposits. to boil water. Or anybody know to purify food and drink? 
He's Maybe like, just boil the water. Uh, appreciate the gift, but I think I'll return what is from nature back to nature. Your loss. Yep, you do that after you drink it. It returns to nature through your body. I like the way he thinks. <laughs> All right, I'll let you lick it and first. It's fairly large ball of ice, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't mind them, Bart. They're they're an interesting bunch. I can already tell. Uh, I think we're gonna have to keep an eye on, on on this sort for sure. Don't remind me. So you wouldn't happen to know of a uh, anywhere we might find. A sword of Peter? Oh, we have to go weapon? talk to the king for that. The legendary weapon from the stories of old? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that that right. would be the one, Bart. Or it could be, be Peter older. Jr. I don't really know this place. This no, the, the, this is name. just a stop. We're, we're still going to the capital to go talk to the king. It, this sword has a name. We should call it by that name and not call it Peter's sword. What's the name? I don't remember. Does it actually there have a name? Way too many windows that mm. could be happening. Uh, looks like it's Rindon. Is his sword name? That sounds right. Yeah. yeah. Rindon. Yeah. There it is, yep. Alright. Um, I'm not sure the last time he used it. No, oh, I already have planned to go take us to go see the king. And he, he would probably know. Who is the oh, okay. king? You know the king? Yes, I know the king. And he actually, like, likes you? I am a paladin for the king. Oh. Don't mean he doesn't really know me personally. I wouldn't say he's my friend or anything, but, I mean, he knows of the order. My king knows me personally. Doesn't mean he likes me. Yeah, we, we kind of figured that out. We, we figured that out many times, yeah. I, I don't really think a whole around. lot of people liked you there. How many wanted world. posters did we see? How come we haven't traveled through new worlds before? This is great. Right, Bart? Isn't this great? Don't you love it here? I mean, this is my home, so of course I enjoy it. Wait, why do you not like your home? Not everyone. He's a wanted seen. criminal. I am not a wanted... Well, all right. Wait, what did he do? He starts to become worried that, like, you're actually... Oh, he won't hurt you. He won't. He is not that kind of criminal. He's just wanted for a lot of mischief. I returned mischief? those goods. I uh, he he has the ability to do magic, as you've seen with the water, and sometimes that magic can get him into trouble. I can't control when things happen. Sometimes, but you can never misuse magic and get into it. trouble with the law. I already did warn him, Bart, not to use magic within the city. If you misuse it, you do not deserve to have it. He he, so, he told me that, but he didn't tell me it was necessarily like a law. Look, I mean, rules are kind of guidelines. We could have Aang come and take his magic away from him. We can do what? We, we, Aang we're not take away your magic. And if he misuses it and gets in trouble with it, we should take it away. What are you going to do? What are we going to do? Just bind his hands behind his back? No, he touch your head and steal it out of your head. What? Oh, Wait, what now? End of Avatar. Oh. I know. Thomas doesn't know, works but I know. None of us knows other than... Zephyrus, what he's talking about. I have heard stories I of it, and we use it here wand. if we need doesn't stop me from casting some spells, but I suppose you can hold on to my wand if you really want to worry about me not casting magic. 
in certain circumstances, you know, magic casting is fine. Alright, well... But just casting it whenever you feel like it, not the greatest. Uh, cool. So, Bart, I tend to be... Uh, you seem... You strike me as a fairly intelligent kind of folk. Uh, do you happen to know of any history books of the area? Well, I mean, there are stories of our history. Uh, not many have been written down, but they're passed down in stories from generation to generation. Majority of my cantrips I don't need my wand for. <laughs> I mean, we do have a library at Care Paravel. Are we? No, we're not taking trips to libraries again. Corvus, come on now. I'm sure plenty of, of the animal folk will be glad to tell you their stories. Do they even read? They don't have Bart, to read. Philip, do you guys read? I mean, there are, are probably we, are some animals that, if... that, that could very well read, although talking has been more of the the typical for most beasts with tongue. Who's, who said that? Philip? That was Philip. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine you knowing how to read because how are you going to turn the pages with your hooves? Uh, we um, can still use our teeth to be able to then turn the page. But then they'll get all wet and you'll eat them. Well, or the we can just dry. have them. Or normally a oh, person's yeah, with, the, with the horse and they will turn the pages for them. I mean, That's so I was work. told. I don't know. Philip's an older horse, but he's a great horse. So wait, Philip, you don't know how to read. Just clarifying. Correct. I do not know how to read specifically. All right. So, Corvus, there's no reason for them to have a library in Beavertown. I was just checking. I just found it very hopeful to have a book. Yes, Beavertown does not have one. Here, Paravel will have a library. Ooh, that's a cool name. Cara Paravel. Let's go there. We are going to make our way that way, but this is a good spot to stock up on supplies and stuff. Oh, all right. Well, fine. I all was right. Well, if anything then... happens, Thomas, with this group of, well, your group, we're holding you responsible. Ooh, I like this. I just... <coughs> I... Okay, fine. Care Perivel is nice and all, but uh, I still believe Bossing Say is way prettier. You haven't seen Care Perivel yet, sir. No, the the name. Oh, the name. All right. So, so at this point, this is your grand return back to town, right? I think you should be glowing. Come here. I'm gonna oh, move no. towards him, reaching my hand out for his chest. Wait, what? Can I do a touch attack or something to see if... Oh, no. I think he just does a, a save. It would be a save for him deck to resist. Save. Yeah. Who's He's doing a save? A deck Me? save. Yeah, I'm trying to cast... You're returning to town triumphantly. I'm trying to cast oh, light gosh. on your chest piece. <sighs> oh, gosh. The last time you tried to cast light on me, I was able to resist it. A dex save? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to try to physically dodge away from his hand. It's... 16? You did not save. Really? I think your DC is 17? 18. How is yours 18 and mine's only 16? I don't know. I don't want to hear it. Mine is only 13. No, <laughs> 12. You also don't have any spells. I've got curses. That's true. Fine. Hey, my spell save DC is 14, so I don't... All right. Anyway, so, but I have the same charisma as you and the same proficiency bonus. How do you have a save that high? I just do. Casey knows why. Um, oh, your your new staff, the staff of Gandalf. No, the cloak. The cloak. The elven cloak. Gandalf cloak. cloak of, yes. The cloak of Gandalf. Cloak of Gandalf. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Probably All right. elven. So it glo- um so you touch Corvus or not Corvus Monet and yes. he starts My armor glowing. Is now <clears throat> yep. How bright? Um, and feet or is it twenty feet? Uh twenty foot bright, twenty foot dim. 
All right, so yeah, it basically looks like a light bulb has just clicked on. And, I mean, at this point, it's... Probably dusk. <laughs> early morning still at this point. Oh, you... okay. I didn't realize we were that close. Yeah, it wasn't too far. I mean, it was some traveling, but still fairly early morning. So it just looks like a light bulb got turned on in the middle of the village and is now emanating... Um... I thought we were still at the gate. Well, you're at the gate, you but as you're walking in... Uh, the light is going through the gate. Fair. Yeah. All right, fair. And uh, I think Bart is like, Wow, that's great! <clears throat> you trying to wake everybody yeah. up? Th this is sort of some of the mischief I was talking about. He gets it. I mean, shoot. You might as well be a... L I mean, I think you're brighter than the lamppost. I probably <laughs> am at this point. That's a normal fire. This is magic. Like, ugh. Alright, well, go in so I don't have to keep seeing this and burn my eyes. Um, but good luck. Is the end... Is the beaver end still open? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's still open. We'll probably stop off there. To the end! Alright. All left. So, oh, wait, Bart. You haven't happened to see my sister recently. You have a sister? You know this. I've talked about it before. Oh, yeah, her. Uh, no, I haven't. Not since the last time you were around. Okay. We'll keep looking for her. Good luck. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Oh. Although, <laughs> if he stands close to me, I wouldn't be able to close my eyes for anything. Oh. Thomas is the one glowing. Or that yeah, if you if you stayed close, I wouldn't be able to keep my eyes open at all. Yeah, Turn we'll we'll, we'll go in we'll go in the city so you can <coughs> have it easier. Alright, well good luck. <laughs> Alright. So you walk in and the light is just emanating through all of the city and people are looking at you and then like trying to like shield their eyes because of how bright you, it is when they get close. I mean it's not that bright. Can you just the daylight spell. Belvis, you're waking up people a little too early. Okay. Only because you asked nicely. It's about as bright as a torch. It shouldn't be that bright. It's early I mean, morning. It, they they were not expecting that yeah, bright. Yeah, they're not light. expecting a Right towards walking to the city at this hour. And, uh, yeah, you find your way over to the inn. We, I open the door, walk inside. Are the beavers there? Uh, or the beavers. So... Is yeah. this a normal size building or like hobbit size building? Normal size building. I don't so you know walk in and they're like, ah, oh, Travis. Momo's ears. Oh. Welcome I back. Look, I just looked down at. Uh, who, who is it? Uh, I would say it's. <laughs> uh, I would say it's the beavers, but they're actually the. Descendants of the original beavers. Yeah. Like, it's been multiple generations since the original beavers from Lion the Witch. Yes. And the Liger. Well, right. I was referencing the actual, I know. not. Yeah. And the Armoire. So, what brings uh -huh. you back? Uh, we just actually got back, and we're making our way to Terra Paravel to see the king. Do you okay. have any use for ice? Do we have any use for what? I mean, did you bring it down from from the frozen don't. tundra? No, don't don't take the ice, Mister. Do you want some ice? Uh, go ahead and roll a persuasion check to see how persuasive you are at offering some ice. Twelve. 
Uh, <coughs> well, since I don't know you, that makes me very worried. So I'm going to decline at this point, but appreciate your offer. Your loss. I mean, some people don't like ice and things. Hey, I mean, so God, we, this is an inn, right? Can I buy food? Sure, we have food. Do you sell tea? How much? I'm getting some. <laughs> I gotta subtract. Uh, what yes. the can, can we sit down and eat? Sit down and know. eat dinner. John is the one who knows that. Yes, you can sit down and eat breakfast. John, it's usually a food? couple silver. I mean, it depends on the quality or whatever, but it usually a couple silver pieces. All right. So I gotta convert. It might. Would you call it like two yeah. silver or something like that, Casey? Sure, let's do two silver. Per person? Or not. Yeah. It's not free here. You have free food? I'm more than willing to pay them Sometimes. silver. Not a big deal. Sometimes I mean, for, for people that we don't know, it's it's not free. For people that we do, sometimes it'll be free. Ah, let us sit back and enjoy our night. Remember, if you hurry through long days, you will hurry through short years. Wait, what did he just say? The beaver looks at you and like, are you disguised or are you still blue? I would think that I would have disguised when I wasn't on. But if I have to top it off every hour, I'm going to try to turn around and cast the spell without anybody noticing. What is Matilda wedding? Uh, that just came up. I'm not entirely sure. I think the blue okay. thing is confusing to her. We have Matilda tonight. We do. Yes. It's been a while. And a Hi. new one named Ares. That was... fire... So for those who don't know... Oh, yeah. The phrase. What phrase? The phrase. Oh, the the saying that he said. If you something about short nights, long days. Oh, he spelled. If you hurry through like long days, time. you will hurry through short years. Take your time and enjoy yourself. Let us sit and have some tea with our dinner. It's no sure sense to rush ourselves. Tea. We have the night ahead of us. Wait, are you trying to call us short? Yes. Don't call the beaver short. Uh, I, I, I said nothing of the kind. I'll call you short. No. I have many animal friends. I don't. I spend much time in nature. I spend much time with animals. Oh, we are not going there. Oh, yeah, don't talk about him and animals, please. <laughs> um, all right, well, butcher. well, for you Hydrates. for you and your insults, the price just went up. It's now three sure. silver for you. Perfect. Here's three for more me? silver. No, for him. <laughs> I, I insist. I respect you, uh, Mr. Beaver. Is that I've, your name? I've now given him five silver. All right. Well, he does bring out breakfast. For those that paid, um, appreciate your respect. I'm still confused about the short and long things, but uh, we just take it yeah, one day at he, a time. He does say some random sayings like that. Sometimes we get them, sometimes not. But he's a he's a good fellow. If you say so, Monet. If you say so. You haven't heard any... Uh, Weird on. things going on happening, have you? Weird things? No, like, big, scary creatures? You know, like giant trees who smash you with their branches? Yeah, that did not feel very good. I that mean, was your fault. I told you, you don't set fire near them. Wait, you set a fire in the forest? Yes, he did. We needed you to cook to burn our food. people alive? I told him it was a bad idea. We Someone used wood to the clearing. Someone we used else? wood that was already dead on the ground, and but he we still needed set it to eat. right next to the tree. How close was it? Was that close? I to didn't an, build the tree? fire. I just lit it. I mean, it. Somebody else built it. It was uh, within like you know five, ten feet from the tree. Uh huh. Well, see, that was your first mistake. 
I told him to use the clearing. No, we did not know. You see, sir, we are not from here. Oh, where are you from? Teach us your customs and ways. Uh, uh, Please to meet you, by the way. My name is Zephyrus of Ba Sing Se. Oh, you want to uh, know where we're from? I'm going to make an illusion of the lamppost in the room and be like, we came by that thing. You brought the lamppost to us? Yeah. No, that's not a real lamppost. You can try to touch it. You Do we have, my like, fun. glasses of water? Yeah, he has a yeah, breakfast for you. Um, well, Elwyn, of... what we can do, let's just shape the water into shapes that we'd like, uh, right out up out of our glass. Some shapes above the glass. <laughs> he he sees all the magic and stuff going on, and he's like, Thomas, who did you bring with you? And what? Let are me they show doing? you what Bossing say look like. We and I'm going to try to make an image of the city normal to this world. We are friends of the Liger. No, I am a friend of the Liger. He doesn't know you yet. Anyways, the Liger. Liger. <laughs> you did say Liger, though. <laughs> yes, and I was about to correct myself. And it's a lion, not a Liger. Wait, who is this Liger you speak of? I don't know. I they they say Liger. Ashley. Ashley. He's referring Ashley. to Aslan. It's Aslan. Oh, Aslan. It's not Ashley. Okay. Wait, there's a Liger named Ashley? Yeah. I mean, he Aslan never he says anything about his wife. I do not know why his name would be Ash Slain, like he's been slain. Is he dead? No, it's Has Aslan. he died? Uh, A-S-L-A-N. What, was Aslan. he slain, though? Uh, at one point. So he did. What? And he came what? back to life. That does not make sense. Oh. Like Gandalf. Sure, like Gandalf. But Gandalf is dead too. <laughs> he left no, his cloak behind. Gandalf's he still naked. alive. He he went off, sailed away. To the why undying he, land. Why he leave his cloak in in French uh, Moria? I had a goldfish that went to lo- on a long trip and never came back. Oh, your parents were definitely <laughs> lying to you. Oh, Did you have parents? I don't know if we've talked about your parents. Of course I got parents. Are they still alive? No. Uh, they passed on 15 years ago-ish. Considering Corvus is 3540 and in his era people lived to maybe 60. Well, 50-60. That's that's a long time for your era. I was gonna say, yeah, forty was an old man in that, those days. Yeah. If you were lucky, you got to be fifty. Yeah. All right. So with all this magic going on, what's what's your purpose here? Uh, oh, we're, actually we're looking here for Rindon. Sort of... You don't know the name. We can't keep saying sort of Peter. But you don't know its name. I would know the name. We've we've just but been you told don't. Peter's sword, so <clears throat> Gotta like, stop it. We I don't can't. know it. Alright, moving on. Are you just getting that key there? Are you just chuckling? <laughs> I'm wondering what's taking it so long so long, but yeah. Yeah, I just got it. Okay. Way to go. <laughs> Our hero. It's even better when somebody doesn't get it. <laughs> I don't think John quite can see it, though. <laughs> I don't think I heard it. We can't keep calling Rindon Peter's sword. That could be mistaken. Mm-hmm. For <laughs> that could... so- swords. Or Peters. Or both. Uh, uh, of Peters. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, moving on. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, so you're looking to try to get Rindon, eh? That's the quest we've been given. Yes, you know where... by the noble Avril Levine. 
Davril. Not a- a- it was Davril. All right. And he always Devil listens, so if you mess it up, he gets mad at you. Uh, so I can talk to him. Time. I can send him message in book. All right, where are we going? Davril, uh, how do you spell your name? Oh, sorry, it's signed right here on my book. Never mind. Yeah, we're going to Care Paragol to see the king. We're off to see the wizard. All right, the wonderful so, wizard of Kerberville. So at this point, you finish your breakfast. He grabs all the dishes and stuff, and is like, "Anything else I can do for you?" Is there anything we can do for you? That's the real question. Yeah, you I mean, don't have anything you need done. I would, I would like to compliment you. Thank you for the fine breakfast, and I would like to say it is one thing to open a shop. It is another thing to keep it open. And you have done a fine job here, sir. Well, thank you. Actually, it was it was my parents, or it was my great-grandparents that originally opened this spot. Uh, you have done a wonderful uh, homage to them, sir. Cause Wish they I were, had grandpas. Because uh, they were around back when uh, Peter was originally around, so. He was fat. They were one of the first allies. What? Peter was fat. Bell. No, Peter was not fat. You just said he was round. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is a round table. He I was care, uh, ba- back when he was alive. Okay. Yeah. There's a round table. alive, close enough. Makes sense. All right. Well, if you don't need our help, we can leave. Do you know where we go to find sword? Yeah, we're going to we the have... castle. Yeah, we have oh. to go see the king. Right, the, 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 the Car- Caravan Castle. No, Caravel. Castle. Vela. Carousel Castle. You sure you I should be know. traveling with these people, Monet? <clears throat> Sometimes I don't know. But I don't really have much of a choice. Hey, uh-huh. at least he's showing his face here. No, my helmet is on. Oh. Hey. I thought you said it was off in the woods. No, I oh, put I... it on in the woods. As soon as so wait, did you keep it on while you were eating? No, I took it off when we ate. There was no one oh, around. Oh. Alright, I can say that. And then I put my head back up. Yeah, well, we're still in the restaurant. Are, are we leaving yet? Yeah, let's leave. Please. Oh, not eating here. I didn't eat. When, when the uh, beaver cook walks away, I will say to Elwyn, Elwyn, son, you need to learn much. If you want your dinner, do not insult the cook. You are lucky that he only charged you extra money. He could have kicked us all out for your words. He was only asking he for one extra silver. I gave him three extra silver. He wouldn't have kicked me out. I was hoping so, he'd think it'd be funny at that point. Your generosity was out of fear, and not out of uh, no, your heart. Generosity Give, was out of, I want food, and I want good food. But you and you should not why have is insulted it, Why is it an insult that to call a beaver short when I'm twice its height? How tall am I? I don't, they don't people, like short. people feel uh, differently than that. You do not call a fat person fat. You do not call short person short. Right. Uh, I grew two you, inches. I you do not call three. women ugly, even when it's true. It's, I would just never call a woman ugly. You I tell her she's short if she's short. The, Look, there's no people are, How tall are people these people? Have... They're taller than average, yeah. right? Like two or three feet, right? Yeah, like two and a half to three feet tall. Yeah. As I recall, all the talking creatures are bigger than the regular counterparts. Yes. I think I'm... Am I the tallest one in our group? Uh, I I believe I am five foot two. Let me double check. I have biggest beard in group. Yes. Yes. We know. Um, I am five nine. 
Uh, did we pay for rooms? I, I forgot. Did we, I don't it's really early that. morning. We yeah. don't have to have rooms here. We can leave. Oh, I had to oh, care for them. Ah, we get going. Okay. I, I was yes, looking forward can... to playing Paisho all afternoon. Well, we can we can play Paisho when we get to Care Paravel. Who exactly are you going to play Paisho with? You uh, can play with me. I, I know how to remember. Play. No such thing, bad student, only bad teacher. I mean, as long as I the he doesn't have any business for us to it. attend to, then we should be able to rest there for a while. While Corvus goes to the library. How, f how many days is it to get there? It's going to be a few days. Probably like three to four. Especially if we go by the way I want to take you to the stone table. Oh. What is the way you want to take us? He wants to convert Via us. Via the to stone table. Uh, why do you want to see a table made of stone? Because it is a special relic. Of is it inside beautiful log cabin? No. Will Rindon be there? <laughs> I doubt Rindon will be there. All right. How do you even know that? Totally. Tell me. The Thomas, paper just said what, it. What is special True, about maybe. a table? I've seen many tables. It's where it's Aslan was killed. thought you heard. It's round. No, that's the one at Care Paragold. The stone table oh. is not. Right. By the way, love that comment. Totally going to happen. I'm going to have Part come in. And, uh, you know, as you guys were talking about your beards and height, and he just stands above everyone with, like, a longer beard, and he's taller than everyone. He's like, yeah, you guys are all short to me. And then he walks back out. And See? Leaves. Really, Bart? Really? I am short to him. Well, I mean... I'm not offended. Fair, Bart's, like, eight feet tall. Well, no, that was Part. Part was the one that did that one. Oh. <laughs> Bart, not Bart. Bart's still at the beginning... Part was the one that walked by and did that. Yeah, I mean, Part is eight feet tall. Bart is like seven and eight. Like seven, eight, seven, eight feet tall. I still want to ride him. Can Momo ride him? You'd ride the centaur? Ask. I would probably assume the centaur would say no. Would Momo but you ask? Can ask? I don't think Momo, Momo would ask. ask. Momo would just do it. Yeah. Momo, do it. Do it. Go. <laughs> it's Wait, easier to ask forgiveness. He's getting away. Mission. Hurry up. You're, you're gonna have to try to you're gonna try to convince Momo to jump on the centaur? Yes. <laughs> yes, Momo like other animals and, and people animal is normal. Then part, right. is part you still can here? do it. Or did he actually leave the, the <laughs> establishment? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because uh, the comment. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have... Um, when Momo comes up uh, to try to jump on, it's like, listen, if you want to ride, I'll ride you first, and then you can ride me. <laughs> Wait, he's what? So when when the when Momo came up, the centaur was like, "If you want to ride, I have to be able to ride you first. I have these spells that on Momo with Momo. <laughs> yep, centaur riding Momo. Momo is like a foot and a half tall. Exactly. It's so, not gonna work. Uh -huh. Question: How much would this centaur weigh? Probably not eight, nine hundred pounds. No, he wouldn't. No, have horse bodies are heavy. He's not a full horse body. He's got most of a horse's body. In fact, oh. on top of that, only the neck is replaced with human, and so it's even heavier. So hold on, how? So I would say, say about twenty-one hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, two thousand. Does it actually say that? That's a ton. Inventory: How much horses weigh? Well, no, I just did a Google search of centaurs, and that's what it came up with. Well, my no, horse weighs that quite too. a bit. 
times 15. So yeah, he would probably crush Momo if he tried. Momo tried to give him a... Momo, come back here, right on oh, handsome yeah, Jack. There's no way I could carry that. And then I was hoping one, I could enhance leave. ability, which doubles my carry weight, and then <laughs> oh, wow. be able to carry him. But nope. Oh my gosh! No, no, no not even close. <laughs> not even. I mean, handsome Jack might be able to. If you want to see a centaur riding on a horse. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. All right, we should move on past the centaur. I think they're too Sorry, proud. Yes, we can. We can move past the centaur. All right, I'd have so... to work on my strength before you could ride me. Next time. Sure. Uh huh. I can't even levitate him. I, mean, I I can never win an arm wrestle with part. So good luck trying to carry him. What a beautiful. Uh... Beast? Person? Beast person thing? Alright. Let's let's uh, bust this town and get rolling. No, we're not going to bust the town. We're going to leave the town perfectly the way we entered it. So I can't make anything explode? You already did that before we left. I did? Well, I mean, you set the one person's house on fire. I did who? That's close enough. I didn't light anybody's house on fire, did I? Unless Andy was the one who set the house on fire. I don't think that was me. Uh, don't bring me into this. I don't know anything about any fires. Uh, I think we left uh, Port Royal just the way we found it. Go ahead and make deception checks, both of you. Who? Both of you. I don't remember. Did I actually light this house on fire? You did light yes. the house on fire, yes. Okay. Elwin's deception is actually... You cast a fireball cool. inside an office. Alright, 21. Elwin can pass lie detector tests. I actually rolled really well. I rolled an 18, so 20. Uh, <coughs> so, 18. Alright, so... Oh, hold up. I'll roll an insight then. To see if I can see if you're lying. 12, yeah. I can't, no, I but at this yeah. point, you believe them that the house, the fire was started by somebody else. I mean, so if you guys didn't set the fire, who set the fire? Because there was definitely a building on fire as we left. Oh, really? I didn't see anything. Can you spark my memory? How and why did I set this house on fire? You didn't like the person? Or no, Corvus didn't like the person. Corvus didn't like well, the person, so you burned his house. Oh, I remember this now. I did, did like a whole to thing. A girl. Yeah. I used you... fireball on this house. Yes, yeah, you guys you burned you his guys entire like, office. You guys spent like an hour. Only person it. who knows this is me and Corvus. Correct. Yes. Well, I did things to Corvus's right hand man that nobody knows about but Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. We did terrorize Steve pretty well. Speaking of which, I'm gonna write a letter to Steve. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Poor Steve. So what? What? Uh, what way are you taking them, Thomas? What way are you heading next? Um, you going north of the Great River or toward the Rock Bridge? We will head down through uh, Allies Enclave to the Rock. Oh, Bridge. going through. Okay. Yep. It's the Over fastest way he would. It's the fastest way he would know uh, via the road. So we're not taking the road. We're taking some shortcut. We are taking the road. There's oh. multiple roads. Oh, okay. We're taking the road through the forest. It is a faster way, but it could be a little tricky. Oh sure. There are you know wild beasts around. I send message to Corvus in chat. It is exactly 25 words. To Corvus? No, to Steve. Well, you're sitting at to Steve. As to Corvus. Steve, what are you saying it from you? From Corvus. 
the beginning of plagiarism. He does not know I exist. <laughs> well, he knows it. I exist. He doesn't know it's me. You took my book and asked him to write his name in it. You did. No, I'm pretty sure you convinced him, didn't you? Yeah. You convinced think, him to write his I name. I think I had to use a persuasion check to get him to do it. Yeah, you definitely did that for your master. <sighs> and well, no doubt. Yeah, we're gonna make our way on horses down through the woods. All right. The grandmother's house. We go. All right, let's do it. Uh, real quick, I'm doing a response from Steve. Oh. <laughs> Wrong number, who dis? Hey, Philip. Question. I guess I gotta wait for uh, Inoculant to. Yeah, I cannot play Philip because I don't know. We can't really do a whole lot without the. Yeah, yeah give me a quick second. Uh, how many words? 25. 25. Right? Yes, I believe. Yes, you can reply and reply to it with 25 words only, or less. You don't have to use all 25. Bien, this is cool. response out loud for the people at home or no I'll just put it in chat so I'm gonna throw it in chat so you guys can know oh the heiress can't see these chat apparently it's in the discord so have he was gonna, he was gonna is it, put it in, in the the virus has this book where he can write to people and it goes to their head and they can reply yeah I'm casting the sending spell but I have to write it into a book oh, and magically gee appears in their mind as Iroh's voice and then they can reply and it appears on my book like writing. Casey pasted it in so he could see I the pasted messages. it in so that the chat could see. So there's nothing audible. I'm just reading my book and the writing's appearing on it. Anyways, Philip. Philip? Oh, yeah. Um, greetings. Elwin. What do you eat? Well, I eat a lot of things. Mostly carrots. some carrots. Grass. Also, like some grass and some, <laughs> uh, like, a lot of the wildlife around that's, that's like some nice flowers. Those are pretty tasty, especially the purple ones. And some seeds are nice. Well, why do you ask? Okay, I was just I was curious if a, you know a talking horse ate the same thing as normal horses. Yes, they do. Generally, it's pretty much the same. I would say. I mean, do you like peanut butter? As I hand Philip up an apple. Eats the apple. Is very happy about it. Uh, peanut butter. Uh, what what is peanut butter? It's a nut. Well, technically, it's a legume with a little nut inside, so it's like a seed. But it gets crushed up into a paste and mixed with sugar. Thank wow. The like official what a peanut is <laughs> brought to you by Elwyn. <laughs> yes. The more you know. Do, 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 do. Am, I, am I wrong? I'm pretty close, right? You just, I think you're yeah. pretty close. Yeah, you, you are pretty on. close. All right. A little bit of salt. Uh, I, I, I do like sugar. Sugar cubes are great. Ah, uh, okay. Eat, trust me, you don't want to have peanut butter. We used to do this thing to the horses in the stable where we would feed the peanut butter and then it would look like they were talking and so we would pretend <laughs> to say what they were saying. Hello, Wilbur. 
I don't know. It's something stupid we did as kids. Um, yeah, no, don't don't feed Philip peanut butter. I think I will uh, continue with the grass and the other goodies and let for, you do your thing with peanut butter to the other horses. So, for those who don't know, the old black and white show, Mr. Ed, where there was a talking horse. That's I how know they what you're the talking horse. About. Okay, that's how they got the horse to look like it was talking, is they fed it peanut butter. And it would, like, because it would get, like, stuck in their gums and stuff, it would look like he was talking. No horses were harmed during the making of this show. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Okay, no, let's move on. <laughs> the famous Mr. Ed. Stop. So, you're traveling down on the road. Um, <laughs> on the road again? Yep. Can't get away yes, on the road. On the road again. And uh, at this point, you start to hear, like, the wind is blowing. And uh, you start to hear, like, small steps. But it sounds kind of like monstrous steps of, like... <sighs> Off in the distance. You say small steps, but it sounds like monster steps. Well, it's 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 <laughs> very infrequent, but it sounds it's like large. very lumbrous and large. At this time, I'm paying no attention to it. Does All it right. sound Does it sound like it could be caused by like the wind, or not really? Uh, it's it's too regular to necessarily be the wind. You would think. Covis is sorry. Yes. I ask Steve uh, what, how it go, and he answer, uh, a house down the street burned down, and everyone wonder who done it. Do you know anything about a house down the street? Uh, so Corvus kind of goes pale for a second, and then, uh, no, nothing like that rings a bell. I don't, I'm afraid I, uh, I, I definitely don't know anything about that. Do I, I believe that? a little. Uh, Wait. go ahead and go ahead and roll another deception. May I contest with an insight check? Sure. Sixteen. I'm rolling really hot. Unless you want to go off my passive insight. No, you can go ahead and roll for it. You're you're actively looking. I completely oh how did they believe you? <laughs> did you roll one? I got a five. <laughs> mm. Yep. Yeah, so. Apparently, no one, no one knows what happened to that house. Should I tell Steve? We have no idea. That sounds like a great plan. What is that sound behind us? It what sound? I'm, I'm trying to think. I missed it. What sounds happening? We can't There's, hear that. I uh, thought we could hear it. So, like, lion, large steps. That sound for something very large, uh, but like very slow, is happening. Jurassic Park. Uh, if I mean, if nothing else, does Momo hear it? Uh, Momo for sure. Hears I mean, we it. all hear it. He has we all hear it. Can we feel it? Uh, you Coming can't in the feel air it tonight. Okay. Would I potentially know what it could possibly be making those kind of footsteps? Go ahead and roll a uh, nature nature check for sure. Survive. Nature, where's the nature? I can make loud explosion sounds. I got a three. Mm. I'm doing great for spell check for rolling right now. Hey, my first roll was a five. I'm can right I sing a you. travel song? Uh... To yourself. You're going to sing The Road Goes Ever On again, aren't you? Again, know, and again, and again. Uh, for For the three, yeah, you don't remember what this is. Hey, uh, Bella, do you think we should move a little faster? Uh, I, I definitely do. Those, those sounds do not sound good. So I shouldn't sing, is what you're telling me. Probably not. If Philip's saying we should move faster, then we should definitely move faster, so we quicken okay. the pace. Should we get off the road? Get off the road! Quick! So you guys go off the road, not just speed up, you just go off the road? 
I mean, we go off the road a little. Hard. I, I have an idea that we could go off the road and hide. Is, is there any foliage or anything to hide nearby the road? Oh, yeah, you're, go, you're going through a wood. We're going through a forest. Yeah, so there's trees. We're on a path, path but we're through the forest to hide in. Uh, we kind of pass. As I step off of the path, I'm going to mold earth and make a little print in the ground so that we don't lose our way back to the path. I'll do that every 50 feet or so, and we'll go like, I don't know, maybe 150 feet away from the path. Okay. Um, are we Am I having hiding? trouble with low-hanging branches, by the way? I got a really tall horse. No, not on the road. I mean, outside the road, you do have to duck a little bit. But other than I don't that, have to good. dismount, though. I'm okay. No. All right. No, the the horses are fine. Off the and so and this is afternoon. We can still see fine even in the forest, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Do we need to be hiding? We may. All have right. To. Here is my idea. I mold earth. I make, I make, dirt come up, and and make a natural blockade that the uh, Corvus son and Thomas son can hide behind. You and I can hide behind uh, this guys. Okay. Do it. Rock. I'm going to minor illusion a bush. I'm going to minor illusion a rock. With with an eye hole so I can see out. Yeah, and I mold with earth. An eye hole. Two five foot chunks of. You do have to specify, otherwise earth. you can't see outside of your own illusion. That's true. Well, unless you decide an intelligent saving throw. Which uh, seems silly. Um. All right, so the giant uh, footsteps start getting, you know, it seems to be Louder. something closer. And so you're hiding. How many people are hiding in a boulder, or are you doing boulder for everyone? No, he no. It's a five foot thing. We can't all fit in that space. Okay. It's, he's inside a boulder. Are in mine boulder. His I'm and inside his a, a bush, maybe fifteen feet away from the boulder. Okay. And uh, I excavated some dirt for Corvus and. Uh, Thomas. So there's a five foot chunk down that they can step down in, and five feet higher, so it would block potentially up to ten feet. Okay. So they can step down in a trench and have a a wall a in wall front of them. In front of them. Yeah. Okay. Do we Who see? Who needs anything? a shovel? Can I do a when you have mold earth. Uh, if you go, if you want to do a perception check, yeah, go ahead. I'm not good at this. Uh, may Eleven. Momo make a perception check? Sure. Uh, what's his perception? Plus three. With advantage. Nice Disney reference. Well, he got a natural one and a natural 12, so... 15. Yeah, I don't remember what reference that would have been. I can't think of what a Disney reference... Well, you were singing... Well, there was the Mr. Ed thing. Was it a thing. whole new world? There was... No. Yeah. Was I, I think whole you were world? singing A Whole New World. That's possible. I don't remember singing A Whole New World, but it's possible. So That's mine. See... I have the genie. You see this? Oh. You see this? You are uh, the genie. Like, Not yet. Tree, but it's like, it looks like there's lots of vines and swamp partially coming around through it. And it's making large steps just kind of going through the forest. Oh, I've heard of some waterbenders doing that. There's a person inside of those vines. Why do all the plants in your world want to eat us? Just leave it alone. But so, I kind of want to burn it. Momo telepathically communicates this with me, right? Don't right. don't talk to it, Mary. Don't encourage it. I, I do. I do think swamp creature is something I have heard of before. In, it's not uh, a swamp creature. In, in Earth Kingdom. So it keeps walking by. You're all staying hidden. Oh, by the way, go ahead and yes. everyone roll a stealth check real quick. Oh, great. Momo gets plus I'm four. great at those. Well, I... take advantage because you've made, like, fortifications to try to hide. Right. Okay, so roll normally. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Momo gets a 20. Uh, not natural. And I get... Oh, I got a 19. I get a 22. Catorce. I get a 22 as well. 
<laughs> Torse, that's... Right below Kinsey. Mm -hmm. 14? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that took me a second. I have not had Spanish in a long time. You should come um, to Texas. Just a uh, note here, the person rolling with disadvantage, even though it has normal now, rolled higher than a person with actual deck score. I like to also note, I actually have I have proficiency in this, too. Oh my gosh. I wow. don't. I just rolled a natural 19. I rolled a natural 19, and I don't get any bonuses. Yeah, we All had right. some high rolls here. That, that worked out really well. Usually so, yeah. if you do a party stealth, somebody fails. Especially so, yeah, the usually me. <laughs> plate armor. Me. So the creature continues <laughs> walking by, and the steps start getting fainter and fainter and fainter, and eventually you don't hear them anymore. Yeah, we could have taken him. Then let's go and take I, them. I'm okay with fighting things. I don't want to mess with that. I just like to make things explode every once in a while. So, Mulder stays that way for forever, right? I don't know. Look it up, but you'd say. Yeah, I'm assuming. Our minor, illusions, my, our minor illusions only could last a minute, so we would have had to keep recasting it. Right. And that is... Yeah, we just had to recast it. Okay. Which we can do silently, thankfully. I can't silently cast a spell, can you? Minor illusion doesn't take verbal. It doesn't take verbal! Okay, we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for that. I am so used to all spells having verbal. Nope. Somatic. Somatic and, yeah. and material. Oh, and Which... shape water somatic, too! Mm-hmm. Mold Earth! Man, none of these are verbal. I have so many cantrips that are... Oh, man. The world of possibilities. Continue. Right. All right, so you guys are, are you, I'm assuming you guys are continuing on your path? Yes, we'll get yeah, back on the road with our horses and continue going down. Tornado's flame is verbal, though. All right, the, the path does get you to Rock Bridge. So you start to see it kind of open up to where there's sets of rocks um, all piled up across an area that's... Yeah, yeah, as we're just going down the path, like, and to your left, we have a natural rock bridge that's been formed for a, a long time, ever since I was here. I can't tell you when it actually first was here, but it's pretty cool. Uh, please make him stop, Corvus. You know that trick magicians do with, like, the ball where they're, like, slowly moving it from hand to hand? And, like, up and down. I'm gonna do that while we're riding with a chunk of ice. Because I can. All right. And if you want to, if you uh, keep going down this way and you look to the right, you're, you're going to come to the, the frozen lake. Well, the once was frozen lake. <clears throat> that that is no longer frozen. Lake. It is no longer frozen since, uh, yeah, it is no longer always winter, never Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to have seasons here again. Shall we stop to take a swim? If you want to swim in the lake, be wary of the alligators. Do they talk? I haven't met any talking alligators. I think alligator turtles are... So that means we can eat them, right? If you want to eat an alligator, you can try it. They, they Corvus, are red tasty. meat is back on the menu. I was getting tired of right, Eddie's. I mean, uh, you just I mean, have to kind of coax an alligator. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strip also, down. So you can kill it. I'm gonna strip down to my underwear. Jump in. What's with you and being unclothed? Hey, old people, man. Come in. The water is fine. You, you should have met my grandfather. What about Hannah? your grandfather? He was always running around, with, like, in his underwear. I'm going to go dive under the water and stay under. Because right, you, you don't breathe. breathe, so you're just staying under the water? Sure. I'm kind of standing um, on the shore. I'm, I'm exploring. I'm after, clothes on. After, I'm about exploring like, the lake. after about, like, two minutes, Thomas doesn't see uh, the virus 
pop back up for more air. I'm hey, for guys, I think an alligator might got Sapphirus. He hasn't been up in a while. Mm, I've been watching. I haven't seen an alligator. No, like, By they the hide under the water. What does an alligator look like? <clears throat> um, big green log with teeth. Easy way to describe it to you. More plants that want to attack us? It's not a plant. It's a creature. It is an animal. But it's big green. It has a tail and it has lots of teeth and kind of armory. Okay. Does, does Momo swim field. too? Momo can swim. Does he enjoy it? Uh, I don't remember his if personality. It's, if it's warm enough out, it's still a little bit cold for him. Okay. It's chilly. Um, I'm enjoying myself. Can I do like a nature check to see if I can find this alligator thing? Sure. I, I'm pretty sure one has the virus under the water. 19. So hmm. you kind of see um, a little bit of rustle and movement. Um, Definitely bubbles. Near like near a cave area kind of like underneath the surface of the water. How far away? Um, I would say it's about 60 feet from where Sapphirus went in. How far is it from me? About Probably 60 65 feet. feet. <laughs> I'm going to shoot it with a firebolt. The water. You're going to hit the water with fire. Yeah. It's going to okay. make steam. 13. Uh, you hit the water. All right. I'm gonna it run over creates, there and see if I it creates see a cloud anything. Of steam you're not, with you're not the brightest here. magic user, are you? Wait, I don't know. You seemed pretty bright earlier when it made you glow. So I don't know what you're talking about. Fire and water don't mix. Sure they do. Clearly. Watch this. I'm gonna take a full five cube block. Five foot cube block of ice and lift it into the air. Um, 25 feet. I, what? How does this have anything to do with fire and water? Well, now I can drop the block of ice on the thing and kill it. You do realize. It's directly that. over your head now. No, 25 you do feet realize that five feet in front of me. I don't know that you can move the frozen water. Mm -hmm. You can make shapes, and then you can freeze it. Okay, well, I can move the water up there, then freeze it. You do I realize think you can move it more than five feet. feet. No, I can move it up to 30 feet. Mm. Alright, so you make this giant block of ice kind of Wait, somewhat... You can make it I can go five it. feet it's in slowly. any direction, and the I movement can... doesn't have enough force to cause damage. No, but once I freeze it, it can. That's yeah, theoretically. Um, so you go this was on the you... list of tricks you can do with shape water. So, <laughs> so you shape water. Yeah, but for GM yeah. discretion, right? So at this point, you shape it into ice, and you're gonna drop it on back into the water. Yeah, above the the thing where I saw the bubbles. It does say up to five feet in any direction. I don't think you can move the water more than five feet. Yeah, I'm I'm water. doing this outside of combat, so I got plenty of time to make this move. So you bring up the water, you still see bubbles, but no head pops out. What do I see? Like, I'm swimming around. What do I even see? You're under so, the water. Well, so you're yeah. in the water. You see some fish kind of swimming around, although they seem to be staying away from, like, the cave area. And uh, you actually, how far is your sight underwater? Uh, it depends on the murkiness of the water. You could tell me I make a perception check at disadvantage or, or regular. Go ahead and make a perception check. Ooh. Perception. 18. Yeah, so you, you actually <laughs> he see... He rolls a, his eyes because he's tired of us rolling really high. You, you actually start to see... Uh, what looks to be some, like, lizard-like creatures mm. uh, near a cave. 
that are swimming down at the bottom of the entrance to the cave, but they're swimming around and gathering a couple fish that they're able to grab and things like that. Does he see the big splash or the explosion on top of the water at all? That's like I'd 20, probably hear it. It's like 20 feet down. Like, the, the, no one's really noticed it yet. I probably would have heard the splash in the water if a cube of ice hit the water. Yeah, you're still far enough away, though. It's like 30 feet away. It would have dissipated by then. Or there's Take no the sound, sound travels through water and dirt a lot further than it goes in air. Right, but it it would have just been it wouldn't have been as big because it had to transfer the energy. Um, it wasn't that big of a. Is the cave that they're swimming in and out of dark? Yes. Is it far away? Uh, I mean, you swam closer, so I would say you're about mm, 40 feet from it now. I'm going to, right where I am, swim up as fast as I possibly can and try to shoot out of the water as high as I can. All right, roll an athletics check for Athletics! For this is going to go poorly. Six. All right, you try to shoot out the water, but you end up getting half of yourself out, then you body slam back into the water as, like, a beached whale trying to get out. Not free willy. Hey, I, I found the virus. He's okay. And now he didn't get him. It did not work the way I had planned. Did you see anything down there? And how were gonna, you able to stay down there so long? I mean, that was only like a minute or two, right? Yeah, it wasn't too long. I can hold my breath. I'm going to swim over to the shore and um, wring out my beard. Lots uh, of water and uh, some seaweed comes through out, out your beard while you're pulling stuff yeah, out. Yeah, kind of pick it out a little bit. I'm, L- little I'm still creeping out. around where I saw those uh, bubbles or splash or whatever it is I saw. There are lizard alligator type creatures swimming in and out of a cave over on the other side over there. Uh, it's is interesting. That near where I'm at? Yeah, it's basically right underneath you. Yeah, over where Elwin's son is standing. So there are alligators in this place. Well, a lizard alligator creature thing? I don't yeah, know. That, it's... That, that would be an alligator. Yeah, alligator, alligator, alligator. I'm just going to sit back and watch and see if this alligator actually comes up and bites Elwin's hands off. So, Question. So, Elwin, are you dropping the ice back into the water? I'll do it again, yeah. All right. You drop it down right above them. It, like, floats down and eventually, like hits them, Ice but float. then it becomes lighter enough to where it starts floating back up. Okay. So, like, they start noticing it becoming ice, and they're kind of confused. So, the two creatures start swimming up towards you. Hey, guys, I found something! Get over here! I'm gonna gather my clothes and pack and things on the ground, off the ground, and walk that way. So the the the, the uh, creatures start coming up, and then you see the two eyes popping out of the water, and they then start looking at Elwyn with this ice and the weird thing. I want to firebolt at it. Goody things, creature! Oh come on! Why you attack Shoot. everything you see? All right. Um, go ahead and 22. roll the hit. Oh, twenty-two. Twenty-two was your hit. Yeah. Um, yeah, that hits. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Nine fire damage. I think we do need to get Aang to take his power away from him. Alright. And Aang do? He pick fights okay. with friends. Those aren't friends, those are alligators. How do you know if you have not tried to talk to them? Right, alligators are always for initiative. Be. You made friend with Beaver. Beavers talk. Ouch. I have never been a talking alligator. I can try to talk to alligator. Believe me. Is anybody else joining this fight or is it just me? 
Uh, not as of yet. Okay. It didn't pick a fight with us. Why I would I pick a fight with it? I, I may be a little bit chaotic, but I'm not evil. I'm hunting. I'm looking for food. But we know there are talking creatures here. What if it's sentient? I specifically asked, do alligators talk? And he told me no. I, I, uh, yeah, but I told you. Elwyn may not... Or Elwyn. Thomas may not know. <laughs> but I know... Casey, that alligators normally don't. They're not one of the sentient. Um... And that's probably like Peter Normal alligator. Well, some could, but most of them have lost themselves to the bestiality. Let's make music together. Randomly blowing stuff up equals hunting. Yes. It, it has to have like a, a bone uh, nose ring. I was like. No, because there were certain Robin creatures Hood. that Aslan in the the book with the rings, whatever that one's called. Um, had the given sentience to. No, I think uh, the magician's the nephew. Thank you, the one with the rings. Yes, and I think alligators were one of the sentient ones. No, I don't. I don't know. But my point is, my character doesn't know, and I'm going to be more cautious and try to talk to it first. All right. I tried to talk um, to the trees. Well, I'm gonna roll initiative because I don't want Elwin to die. So Elwin, go ahead and roll. 18. What was your initiative? Eight. I got an 18. It is usually best to admit mistakes when they occur and to seek to restore honor. I right, agree, fine. but I you don't win. want him to get eaten by an alligator. I think that's all the conversation we have. We're in initiative now. Alright. Should we so, all roll just to be in it, whether or not we're going to utilize our turn? Sure. I did look, I'm done. I did look it up. Alligators were not talking creatures. However, crocodiles were. Six. John, you were... Uh, well, crocodiles were given sentience, but not yes. I got a, a three That's... plus three is six. Uh... I'm rocking it. I don't want to go first anyway. Let us see what Squirt does flying solo. Uh, what did you get, uh, Corvus? Uh, seven. <laughs> You're right there with me. We're gonna watch this happen. Oh, yeah. Can I be okay. like Crush and, and just watch my Squirt fly solo for a while? It's sink uh, or swim. I mean, you can do what you want. We're starting without with Thomas, though. Yeah, I will go over <laughs> and do a little stabby action. All right, so I'm going to... Well, actually, no, I'm not going to get near it. I'm going to try something. I'm going to toll the dead. On the one Can that was make... hit before? Yes. It took damage already? Yes. Yeah. It took nine damage. <laughs> I can see the ones you. that when the eyes uh, I told you I... that's an excellent spell. Uh told the day, can it make a wisdom save? Wisdom save. Necrotic damage. Two D twelve. Needs to pass a DC of twelve. Twelve. Oh, yeah. It's not using my stat block. It's using cleric. charisma. It's using the wisdom. Yep. <sighs> it is what. It uh, is. What was it for? Wisdom, wisdom twelve. Uh, yeah, he got a twenty. Nice. <laughs> he knows better. He's not going to die. Well, I mean, it's an alligator. It's not very smart, so it probably has like a. It probably something. just rolled really well. Yeah, I probably did. But if he got a 20, he can't have a minus anything, Keith. It can't be negative. No, like the stat score. I'm saying 
Yeah, you can't have a negative stat. If you can't you have a, a negative stat. He rolled a 20, so on the dice, if even if he rolled a natural 20 with a negative, it would have been 19. Or something. Or Unless lower. He, uh, he, I'm just saying he can't have a negative stat. Back. He didn't say natural yeah, 20, so well. I'm assuming it's a plus. One or two, maybe, I guess. This is out of game, obviously, metagaming yeah, or not. It. Alligator. That's funny. That's funny. That is funny. Okay, so I'm going to throw up this real quick. Waiting for it. Is it coming? I saw you building a map. Yeah. Click the button. Uh, there it is. Click the button. What's the alligators? So, I made Swamp Thing and um, Scorpion. Scorpion, the alligators. And oh, man. No Dr. Octopus today. Uh, that would make sense. We never had Dr. Octopus. Oh, we only had Scorpion. Yeah. So wait, <sighs> who's Keith is technically closer to the alligator I shot? No, I didn't get close. I stayed back. Oh, you stayed back? Okay. Yeah, and shot the <clears throat> try to shoot him with the wisdom. Oh, okay. All right, that means next on initiative is this creature. You know what, guys? What? I am not wearing armor. No, you're not. You took I made a mental note about that, too, actually. I'm carrying it. It's in my hands. But donning it would take me... Two minutes? Long. No, it's light armor. Okay, so yeah, the, one, the one that's closest, it's going to shoot at... Shoot. At that one. I need a visual. What is what happening? What is it shooting? So, basically, this webbed fish-like creature, like, sticks its head out of the, out of the thing after seeing, like, the, hearing the explosion from the firebolt. Two explosions. The, the two yes. explosions, then. And it sees you trying to, like, look at the alligator people and shoots you with a harpoon. Alright. I do have a knife. I don't know if I said it earlier, but I do have a knife in one hand. Okay. I don't know if that's relevant. My wand in the other. Uh, does a 17 hit? Nope. Okay. Wow. Tanky boy. I am tanky for a sorcerer. Uh, Elwyn, it's your turn now. What? Magic? It's Alright. There is definitely more than just alligators happening right now. However, I haven't seen my friends join the fight yet. He is taking his turn to monologue. I'm. Well, yes, I'm not necessarily <laughs> saying this out loud. I'm just explaining my reasoning. I'm going to roll with advantage to do Chaos Bolt at this alligator that is in front of me. That's totally on flavor for your character. 26. Nice. 26 hits? I would hope so. Eight. And hold on. So I you've been it. attacking this one, by the way. Heads up. The one closer to me, right? Correct. Okay. Wood. Three and two. We see the other creatures so it's out of the water. Eight damage. I gotta tell you what type. Uh, we'll make it cold damage. Eight damage, okay. And then... Guess what? Oh, wild magic. Good. 29. I love how we get into combat. I teleport up to 60 feet to an unoccupied space of my choice that I can see. Of your choice. Well, that's good. You're basically taking my misty step and doubling it uh, for free. What are what are those random rocks off to the the like up? These ones? Uh, just above me. Yeah. What are uh, those? These are a couple of trees. And, and the gray, the slate colored ones. Um. Uh, these ones could be rocks. 
well, is there anything stopping me from... Is there a branch large enough for me to be on up in the tree? Yes. All right, how high up? Uh, I'm going to say it would be about 25 feet up. All right, I'm going to be on that branch then. I got a mark I used a slot. Um, I still have my bonus action, don't I? Yep. I gotta remember what kind of a save it is. Uh, it's under actions. I have not used this in a while, sorry. <laughs> there it is. Uh, 30, am I still 30 feet from one of them? You, so you're 25 feet up and you're, I'll put that one near the edge. Uh, All right. And you're 10 feet away. So I would say it's it's close. All right. Well, it can make a strength save. Okay. Uh, seventeen. Uh, it. Hold on. Should be versus my spell save, shouldn't it? It would say on there somewhere. Yeah, but if it's, I don't. I think because it's like a a feat. Does the arc robe affect it? I think that's a DM choice. My robe says my spell save DC and spell attack bonus increased by two. The, would the robe affect my telekinetic shove? If the, if the ability gives you a specific DC, no, it would not. So the, it says DC 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus ability modifier of the score increased by this feat. Which is my sp charisma. So what's your normal save? My normal is 8. It's only saying 16. All right, I would say at, at 16, let's go for that for now. All right, so it passed. So it passes at this at this juncture. Sure. Uh, is that it for your turn? Yeah. Corvus. I don't want to move. I'm happy in a tree. All right, well... <clears throat> Andy, move your mic closer to your face. There you go. <laughs> All right, so I will... Uh... Hurt myself in my crossbow as usual. <laughs> usual stabbing yourself. Hey guys, we have to compliment him. He hasn't disappeared below the bottom of the screen yet. I mean, that's it's true. true. Yeah. Wilson Golf did. Clap. Still, that's still been very good. Golf clap. Okay. Uh, and then I shoot him. Okay, let me give you representation. And okay. I fail both times because the first time I roll a three. And the second time I roll a one. Hey, uh -oh. triggers the one effect. Yeah. Roll a d100. Is it an attack roll? Yeah, it is. I'm like I'm attack Andy. rolls, and I failed both of them. Well. But the second one with was with a nat one, right? Yep. Fifty six. All right, fifty six. <laughs> I'm All pulling right, an Andy. You are your own worst enemy. You suffer the effects of the bane spell for the remainder of the encounter. Oh, I've had oh, no. this one before. <laughs> That's no good. That's minus a d4 every attack. Yes. It's really fun when you start repeating ones because you're all so many of them. Oh. <laughs> it wouldn't be natural ones, though. All right, it is their turn. Hey, hey, I thought I was after him. No, you're six. I thought he was like a seven. Correct. He's and an eight. Was a seven. And they got I'm a really seven impressed too. Really How many people oh. were behind me when I rolled such a roll num low number? Thomas was the only one with a decent number. Yeah, and my uh, attack didn't really do anything. Here comes Yours the alligator. More than me. <clears throat> okay. And then these ones. Am I adjacent to Thomas? No, I, I had you Corvus. next to uh, Corvus. 
Okay, where's Thomas? I'm on the bottom. Thomas is right here. Okay, so we're all right next to each other. Correct. I'm in a tree. He's in a random tree, which is crazy. Oh. Um, going back. Flying is kind of my thing, man. He, he didn't fly. To a tree he that wasn't it. Flying. It was falling with style. It was teleporting with style. Oh, boy. You know, because random things happen around me. So, first one on the Corvus is... Does a 15 hit. If it misses. Alright. That was him trying to bite you. Next ha, I did more damage to myself. You did. Um, he's trying to hit you with his weapon now. We're looking at a 16. That's my C. Alright. Oh, it's not an alligator alligator? No. Didn't give any bravado after the attack. Hmm. Oh boy. These aren't normal alligators. Yeah, they're probably Apparently not. What is it? Suburban, sanguine, subverse. I don't remember what it's uh, four, four bludgeoning damage. Only four? I did that much to me, okay. You did that much to you. <laughs> um, Wait, did you hurt yourself or just bane yourself? No, he hurt no, himself. No, he, myself. he, he, he did his usual oh, stabby. Oh, yes, stabby. of course you did. Of course you did. I'm sorry. I forgot it was you for a second there. Uh, going you do more fire. damage to yourself than they do to you. Yes. Like, Some yep. paku. <laughs> uh, does a 16 hit, Sapphires? Uh, I don't currently have armor. Yes. All right. Mm. Actually, even with my armor, it's only a 15. Currently, my AC is a 13. So that's five piercing. You are not a naked man? Did he bite him? <laughs> yes, he did. He bit him. Oh. And then the next Too bad one I don't a, have hellish rebuke. Is a 22. 22 hits. How much damage? Uh, the first one was five. I'm surprised that these don't have, like, a bite grapple thing. The next one was a seven. Where they can drag us back into the water. Ooh, there goes like a third of my health. And now it's the virus's turn. Ah! That was uncalled for. I did not attack you. I'm just standing here with my clothes. Disengage, levitate. <laughs> I don't think I, I, you have to disengage when you levitate. I could, but I'm not going to. I am going to cast Gust of Wind! Also, okay. drop all the stuff in my hands except for my staff. Okay. Uh, what direction? Um, in a line, I would say, from my perspective, if I were looking north, um, northeast or whatever, at an angle to hit all of them. So basically towards that person who's way out in the water. So yeah, all way. the way out there. Yeah, all of those people should be hit by it. Is it a f 10 or 15 foot... It's a ten foot, a ten foot line, I think. Okay, it's... so you're gonna miss one. So you're gonna miss either one. Way. Either you get Swamp Thing or you get Spider Man. Which one do you want? Probably. Swamp um, thing. I'm, I'm gonna get Swamp Thing. Okay, so you're missing Spider Man. All right. So all of them have to make. I'm assuming. Oh, on the start of their turn. On the start of their turn. Don't oh, worry about okay. that then. Remind me that then when that comes. Anything else? Yeah. Um. I wonder what does my gust of wind do to the water, especially if I'm kind of aiming it down towards the water a little bit. Does it affect the water? Can I blow the water? I would say it, it starts to like blow it, kind of like a fan on the water, causing ripples in slight small waves. Would a creature swimming perhaps have disadvantage uh, on their strength or, save? Or um, no. difficult terrain. Maybe not. Uh, I would say difficult terrain for the water. It becomes difficult terrain to move toward me. That's automatic. That's part of the spell. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, but only moving towards me. All right. Yeah, that's that's my that's my turn. All right, back up to Thomas. Uh, seeing that these are not normal alligators now, I'm pulling out my sword and going to stabby stab the alligator creature in front of me. Okay. Uh, there's a 26 hit. Uh, 26 hits. Uh, 
uh, 12 slashing damage. He falls over. How do you want to do this? Hmm. I, uh, stab in Hewitt's uh, lower jaw through the brain out the back of the head. Wow. Gruesome. So, if he's yeah. dead, technically he becomes a corpse. And, uh, corpses can't make saving throws. But would you let me throw the corpse into the water with my wind? Sure, since he doesn't get a turn, I'll have him be pushed back. And Whoosh! He starts, and he starts to float in the top of the water near that edge. Um... Can I move toward, like, around the back of my friends here to Scorpion so I'm not in the path of this gusting wind? Okay. Technically, you have to start your turn in the wind in order to save. But I don't want to start my turn in there after. Right, okay, but so you could walk done, through it. You've moved 25 around the... Uh, the... Yes, and I will make my second attack against that one. I can also move and move it before your turn starts. Uh, does a 13 hit? 13 does not hit. Okay, that is my turn. Alright, it's now back to this one, which it starts its turn. How long is the line? Uh, 60 feet. It's the whole map. Yeah, it's sure. the whole way off. Okay. 60 feet long, 10 feet wide, and uh, he makes a strength save versus my spell save DC of 16. Strength of 16. So he does fail the the strength save. He gets blown back 15 feet. Alright, he gets pushed back. Out of the water. He's going to move out of the line. I wish it would say knock some prone, but that would be OP. Yeah, a little bit. I am upcasting it, though. I'm casting it at third level. Being a warlock, I don't have much choice. Right. <laughs> the only uh, level I have. He's attacking sure. Ed. Sure. 21. I'll cast shield. So... So it misses. That wouldn't save me, okay. even if I had shield. <laughs> All right. I am topless right now. Now it is Elwyn. Hey, that's me. I'm gonna quicken spell to cast firebolt on the thing that just threw a spear at me. There goes your shield, though. Your shield's down. My shield ends at the end of the turn, anyways. Yeah, but it goes until your turn, and if other people attacked you before your turn. Oh, that's fine. Unfortunately. He's got, like, 17 spell slots. He's fine. 21 I to hit. Don't. 21 hits. But if we stay here for damage. 10 minutes, that's I can't comprehend max damage languages. for that. You said 19 damage? Yeah. That's one short of max. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. That's, that is a lot for a firebolt. Wow. Great. All right. I think you toasted it. Somebody else do the math to figure out how I can hit all of them with a fireball. A fireball? Didn't you? Oh, yeah, of course you quickened. Um, I did. That way I could trigger uh, meta magic or whatever it's if called. If you hit um, Spider-Man. Tides of Chaos. Uh, if, you hit the one, if you hit the one behind, the little blue... I think I have to hit somewhere in the middle of the water to hit them all. Is this a 20 foot? What's the range? 20 feet. Uh, hold on. If you want to hit all of them but not hit anybody else. Correct. You'd have to put it, uh, the square B, Behind. like the square. Right there. Yeah, That's what right I'm there. Thinking. Yeah, that one. Or the cool. one up next to the other dude that threw the spear through. That will barely hit the scorpion. Yeah, yeah. it'll barely hit the scorpion. Yep. Really hit any of hit. Right, so they all get deck saves. Yes. Okay. I guess I gotta roll for damage, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, regardless of deck saves, you still roll for damage. Oh. Not the best of saves. Or, well, I guess there's two sixes in there. It's probably about average. 
That was a pretty good roll, I think. What level yeah. did you cast it at? Three. Oh, third, because that's all you have. Of yeah. Uh, what is what's your save? Eighteen. All right, two fail so far. That's Three a dex fail. save. I know. Okay. And then the smoke dissipates very quickly. So, strangely enough, this one saved. The rest of them did not. He ducked underwater when it exploded. Well, also, the ones in the water will take half damage, I think. They will. In the water. But no, you still take half damage if you save. So it'll take quarter damage. I don't think that's a thing. I thought for fire damage, it says on the spell if they're in the water or something, they don't take as much. Uh. Check fireball. Sorry, what? It's not firewall. Fireball it would be underwater combat. Fireball just says damage and half damage with a successful save. One second. I mean, they are submerged in the water. They're not like underwater that. adventuring. Yeah, creatures and objects that are fully immersed in water have resistance to fire damage. Are they technically fully immersed with their heads above water? I'm going to say they're they're half submerged, so I'm going to only give them quarter quarter uh, damage resistance for the ones that are in the water. This one's still taking full quarter resistance. Correct. Huh? So quarter three resistance. quarter damage. Right. That works. Oh, they're getting a reduced damage because they're partially submerged. Correct. Yeah. That yeah, makes combat. sense. That's They're in water and it's fire. You're hitting a third degree burn is a third degree burn, even if it's just on your hand. Right, or their but heads. if part of your body's underwater, it's not going to get hey, burned. This is not logic. This is D and D rules. Well, I mean, there's supposed to be some logic in it. Yeah, and the rules say if you're completely underwater, yeah, that makes sense. But I'm hitting parts that are above water. That's true. Heads. That's why I'm giving you three quarter damage. Hey, this is DM discretion, and he's being fair. Fine. I'm rolling my D100. Oh, wait, how much damage? I don't know. I rolled it a while ago. 27, uh, I think it was. 27. <clears throat> what did I get? 46. Okay. Uh, what's, what's three quarters of, <clears throat> um, of 27? I count on 18. Uh, yeah, you're looking at like 19 or, well... Oh, I think 18. I'd actually say 20. Alright. So, the white dude takes 10. 20.25? So, 20? Yep. Yeah, I did 20. Um... So, 20, 20. 10. So, for those who okay. save their Save throw. Their they're taking 20. Those who failed their throw, they're taking half, but then we're giving them a little bit of resistance on top of the half. So, I like, I'm loving how all of my wild magic's going today. Because it's deciding to cooperate with life. What did it give you for this time for wild magic? Feather fall. Casey, <laughs> the ones who saved their throw should take 10, or the one. The one right. who saved his throat should take 10. The others should take 20. Yeah, I got it. So the next minute. Okay, okay. and that, then Scorpion the takes 27. <laughs> well, no, Scorpion is... He's the one... That was the one that did Oh, he's save. outside. He's on the land, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Scorpion saved, and he took 27. Wait, he saved? He didn't save, sorry. He didn't save and got 27. He didn't save and, and took 27. Right. Yeah, he would take the full 27. I told you so, what I did. You guys figured out what happened, right? I don't well, need this to... This one died from the fireball. Yeah, it yeah. totally burned his back. Ouch. <laughs> Yum yums. I would feel singed, except I'm totally blowing it away from me. Right. Uh, ah, so no, where? Have to so Corvus, it's up to you. All right. Uh, so does fourteen hit? <laughs> fourteen does not hit. <laughs> okay. Well, I already rolled this because I didn't want to deal with the bane in the moment. Uh, so anyways, I got 14 to hit and two 18 to hits. Uh, uh, the 18 so, hits. <clears throat> yeah, so that'll be 20 points of damage. 
Uh, which one are you firing at? Uh, I will attack the guy that looks kind of like a werewolf. Uh, actually, the one right in front of me. No, that's the virus. Uh, the one... <laughs> you got Spider-Man, you got Fisherman, and you got Floating Lady. Yeah, Jerk. I'll fight, uh, the Spider-Man. Okay. You hurt yourself? You hurt your friends? Yep, him. Uh, 18 hits. Uh, and I do a total of 20 points of damage. Ooh. How do you want to do this? Uh. Um... So, uh, my right is currently, uh, radiant damage, so I just kind of wanted to look like a javelin of, like, white lightning type thing. Nice. Maybe lightning. Uh, uh, but that'll be my turn. Is it like a holy smite? Wait, you got, you got two 18s, you said, right? Yeah, for a total of 12 damage. Yes, for <clears throat> a total of 20 damage. 20. Oh, okay. So you're doing both attacks on the same person? Unless, Unless he died the after the first one. one. With, with an eight. The first one would have killed him with eight, yes. Okay. Well, then eight to him, and then twelve to the second guy. Okay. You guys keep a track who you're killing. Meanwhile, I'm blowing, I... you know, air. Eight? Oh, right. I just killed the one, right? Correct. Yeah, and I have one. I have a single kill as well. Uh, I haven't so exactly is... designed my character for high damage. Yeah. Is that True. was that ten bonus experience? Yes. Uh, it is their turn. I'm just gonna add that now. Strength save. It's five. Oh. I thought. I thought it was five for uh, no, it's ten. kills. Ah, uh, he failed. So fifteen he feet. Back fifteen feet. Uh huh. And then he has to move all the way back towards us. Hey, the fact and... that I'm moving them actually means that my oh. spell cast was worth it. Yeah. If he moves he toward me, it's two called... feet for every foot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If he if he moves it's... laterally, he'll waste a few feet getting out of it and then move toward me. <clears throat> Holy cow! Does he have a swim speed of thirty? He moved laterally 10, and then 20, laterally 30, five, 40. And then he moved up. Because he was outside of the difficult terrain. And then how many? Uh, he's 10, 20. Oh, shit. I tried, man. I tried. You, You're you good. made him you use well. all his movement. I did uh, only kill the one, correct? It correct. Was just the you one did that's... only kill the one. Okay. Uh, so it is going to... Yeah, it doesn't like the wind person because the wind person made him frustrated. So he's <sighs> going to go after the wind person. The naked guy. Yep. Attacking an old man in his underwear. Um, he got a nat 20. Oh, boy. And he bit you for a nat 20. <clears throat> oh, boy. Is there only one that's not an alligator? Yes. Okay. Uh, so that's for 10 damage. Oh, okay, we're good. That's I double dice? Is 10 damage? Wow. He did like 4 to Corvus. Fair. Yeah, the damage seems kind of low. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I'm also... <laughs> uh, the next uh, one I'm, misses. I'm more or less bloodied. So that one misses. Oh. It is now, uh, Zephyrus, it is your turn now. Okay, so I was going to Eldritch Blast, and I, I was kind of pre-rolled for that, but I no longer have a ranged guy I can shoot at, can I? I mean, you, you could have, have you ranged him, you. But... but I have a disadvantage because I have somebody within melee combat of me. Right. Yes, you do. I'm going to change my mind and charge my staff with... Thunder energy, and I'm gonna cast Booming Blade and whack oh, him right. with it. Okay. Thundercats. 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 Okay. <laughs> so, 
this is a an attack with my sky blinder staff. Seventeen to hit. That hits. And most Why likely, do I... how do you want to do this? Um. Because I mean, well, you can roll damage, but what's your minimum damage? Uh, one. Oh, then I guess roll it then, just in case. Actually, <laughs> no, I didn't. <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't mean to hit that. Um, actually, hold on, let me look. Blooming Blade does 1d8 thunder damage, 2, 2d8. Uh, 2 is my minimum damage. Alright, go ahead no, and roll just in three. case. Because you still do your damage from the the staff, right? Uh, does it count? It doesn't count as a spell attack, does it? It does. It is a spell I'm casting. Mm-hmm. But I use my weapon attacks, normal effects, and then it becomes sheathed and booming energy. So you, you're essentially doing 3d8, right? <clears throat> oh, shoot, yeah, no. 2d8 here, 8 and 6. It's 14. It, it's 2d8 now, and if he moves, he'll he'll take more. How much damage did he take, Just How much damage did you do? 8 and 6. Um, 14. Alright, how do you want to do this? What? what? What what was the guy? Uh, it was a, it, uh, let's just say a lizard folk. Um, I'm gonna do the Looney Tunes thing, and when I hit him with my staff, he goes, boom, 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 and then falls into the water. <laughs> okay. With that a works. small thunderous explosion. You have two corpses that are kind of floating with each other. Nice. Well, my and, and I'm blowing them away. Right. All right, back they're, up to Thomas. They're not all dead, though, right? There's um, still one creature left. As a bonus action, I'm going to change the direction of my wind towards him. I believe that would hit Keith, but yes. Keith's not in front of me. He's right here. Oh, well, I can move five feet forward. All right. Actually, actually, yeah. go ahead... Go ahead and get me down knee deep into the water. And I'm going to start casting it a little lower to see if I can make the water wave more. Okay. So, yeah, instead of being small waves, it now has some slight white caps that happen now with the amount of water pressure that's happening with the wind. Uh, back up to no. Thomas. Yeah, I'm looking to see what I can do here. If I were smart, I would have bonus action Misty stuff. Um, I'm just going to walk over to uh, Zephyrus, uh, put my hand on his back, and give him uh, ten hit points. Ah, oh, what is touching me? Well, who is that? Oh, Thomas, son, thank you. <laughs> I feel better already. <laughs> That's good. All right, is that it for you, Thomas? Ten hit yep. points. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. You see, my wounds close a little bit on my ch bare chest. He's starting in his. Um... In the wind, so he has to make a strength save. He fails it. Goes 15. Yes! So many failed saves! I think everyone has, that has been there has failed. They're not strong, apparently. They're, they might be quite dexterous, though. They have a good movement. Alright, he's once again they, trying they're to They're swimming shoot. at full speed. I mean... He's only moved like 20 have, feet. I would assume they have a swim speed. They do have all swim speed. Uh, he's once again trying to harpoon uh, Ed. I'm sure he is. Guy standing proudly, toddly, boldly on a tree branch. Alright, 20. I'll cast uh... shield. Shield. Why would you let this happen at least once? I just want it to happen <laughs> once. Um, I mean, is the harpoon attached to a cable? Yes, yes it is. 
Yeah, no, don't let that happen. Pull him into the water. You take fall damage coming out of the tree to start. No, no I don't. He oh, has he's feather fall right now by accident. Wait, um, you have feather fall on you by wild magic? Yep. Yes. So now it is it is Elwyn's turn. I need to levitate you and drop you then. All which right. never I mind. That not, doesn't do that I anyway. That would be hilarious. Do, uh, though. A good roll. Does a fourteen hit him? Fourteen does hit him. All right. Hoorah! Wait, he started his turn, got blown back fifteen feet, and then didn't bother getting closer to us. Uh, he got no. a little bit, but he wanted to be within shooting range. Ooh. Interesting. We're gonna make this lightning damage. Ouch. So 17 lightning damage. Uh, how do you want to do this? Uh. I, I want him to be electrocuted. <laughs> Alright, he fries, and actually, uh, how <clears throat> much does that travel in water? Eh? I shot it from a tree 25 feet up. Right, how much does the electric damage go through the water? Oh, it doesn't say. That would be up to you, Casey. Alright, I'm going to say a quarter damage hits the virus. <laughs> okay. Because of the diff because of the distance. Well, thank you, okay. Thomas. <laughs> the so, only one not damaging me. 17, a quarter, hey, I that's going to be four. Yeah, Corvus swung at, uh, swung at me, almost hit me, and then decided oh. he should probably not attack his ally, <laughs> even though he doesn't recognize me when I'm naked. So, I rolled a 100 for wild magic. Uh-huh. What'd you do? What'd you get again? I get all my spell slots back. Oh, that's sweet. Wild magic today, you're just a bit rolling all good. I know! It yeah. makes no sense. You're, you're even using a different wild magic table, which has a lot more negatives in it. Yes, there is de definitely a f quite a few more negatives than the original. So I'm going to say no. 250 XP per person on that one. Okay. Plus the 10 if you killed anybody. Right. Oh, right. Because I killed two. And, uh... I killed one. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it for our session tonight. <clears throat> They uh, so, they destroyed a bunch of fish and lizard people. I, I will feather fall out of the tree, by the way, and find an alligator to slaughter. Are they actually alligators, or are they like lizard creatures? They're like lizard creatures. All right, let's pull them all out of the water. I'm going to turn off my, my wind. Let's pull them out of the water and let Corvus do his thing. Corvus, butchering. do you think we can eat this, or is this too much like a human? Uh, it'll be kind of... You had Is issues there anything control. on them? It'll be kind of, uh, tough meat, but, Definitely uh, not the thing that threw harpoons. Hey, if they don't talk, I'm okay with it. Yeah, it'll Talking? be a tougher meat, but I think it's perfectly fine. I mean, it'll be a whole okay. lot more appetizing than whatever that thing, that raw stuff, uh, Tomas was trying to give us. Hey, I, I, I'm not a cook. I make beverages. Uh huh, beverages. I think you were under the influence of one of those beverages when we were cooking that. I might have been. Wow. <laughs> All Do right. That. So go ahead and roll um, to uh, to harvest the meat on them. Can you? Can I? Is there uh, anything else on me? these creatures? Of value, like what is uh, this harpoon? Uh, what kind of roll is this? I I rolled a seventeen plus whatever you think it is. Investigation. All right, so yeah, it's basically a harpoon on a string that he's able to attack with and pull back. Okay, so yeah, I guess I'm going to roll investigation. Eight, Eighteen investigation for looting bodies. Uh, that the harpoon guy only had the harpoon. Okay, the other guys had. A club, and, uh... I got a 20. Not natural. Okay. Yeah, they had, I would say... Them. I would say they had 10 javelins between them all. Okay. 
And okay. uh, otherwise, they also had a couple heavy clubs. Well, here, Tomas, throw this harpoon in the bag. Never know when that might come in handy. Got a rope attached. That might come in handy. Yes. And it and it can go up to it's a sixty feet rope on it. Nice. Is there a special item then that's called or something? Uh, it's just a. I would say just a harpoon. Like it's basically a a three. It's not like, even in D and D Beyond. Well, it's considered a enemy attack weapon, so I'm that's not surprised. But it's basically like a hook on a rope. How about just say a javelin? Sure. Pretty sure a grappling hook is a thing. It could be a. It would be like a grappling hook, pretty much. Okay, we'll put that grappling hook. Of course, it's, it's not even here either. This also has a spike either. at the top. Um. Why is grappling hook not in D and D? I don't know what to tell you. But that pretty much does it for tonight. So if you're... Any final words to the viewers? Let me add experience uh, off stream. We already did I that. Already, I already did that. I'm sorry. How much experience did we get? 250. 250. If you kill anyone at 10. I killed the one guy. Right. To 60. That puts me to 82.65. All right. So thanks for all those that were watching. What does that mean? Um, would love 07. a follow if you're watching on Twitch or if you're on YouTube. Please give me a subscribe. And uh, we'll be back two weeks. Sound good? Any, yes. any issues with two weeks? I cannot uh, join in two weeks. I mentioned that ahead of time. Oh, right. Um, so when do we think the next time is going to be? Uh, if you play without me, you can play in two weeks. Otherwise, uh, we can't play until May 12th. All right. Let's plan on May 12th then. Just to be safe. And, uh, oh, guy saluting. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, yes. I was trying to figure that one out. Oh, 07. It was good to have you. Thanks for joining. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> for watching.